So this video is going to show you the basic uses of Yearbook Avenue. So we're just going to go to Yearbook Avenue and you're going to select the year that you are working on and you're going to put in your job number. Ours is 31931 and you're just going to log in. So this is the home page. Um, this part right here is going to show you any deadlines you have, how many pages you have due, and your sales goal. So if you under the create tab, you go to image library. This is how you are going to upload photos. So you'll see that there are different categories. So you go to activity and you see stuff like academics, absence, like things like that. Um, and then you're going to create a new folder based on what you're doing. So this is high school clubs that we're working with. Um, and you're going to go into there. We're actually going to create another subfolder for art club. So we have all our art club photos in one space. You're just going to hit OK. And then you're just going to open up those subfolders. So that way we can upload. And to upload, you just press upload, add pictures. You're going to go to your picture folder, yearbook photos, high school clubs, and you're going to click your photos that you want to upload. You can upload multiple at a time, but this time we're just going to show you how to upload one. Um, after it's completely done, you just hit done uploading. Then to show you the page ladder, which is going to show you all the different pages, you go back under create and go to page ladder. And this is what it looks like. Um, as you work more and more on the academia, you're going to see more pictures based on it. But right now, it's all blank. So you're going to go and you're going to find the pages that you work on. So if you look onto the sides, you'll see things like high school clubs under the description. So that's what we're looking for. So we're just going to open up that page. So here you're going to have a completely blank page to work with. Normally there will be a layout already set up that you will create in the beginning, but this is just a basic blank page. So first we're going to add a text box, and so you have to delete all of the Latin language that they have, so you just select all and delete. Um, and so you're just going to bring your text box up to wherever you want it, and you're going to put a title on the page. So we're going to do high school clubs here. To change the text size and the font and everything, you're going to go to the right side and go to Format with the little um, circle things, and you're just going to pick your font. You will discuss your font and decide the basic fonts for everything so that the whole entire yearbook has a cohesive look to it. Everything, all your titles are going to be the same size, and all your little text boxes are going to be the same size. So you're just going to type in your title. And then just adjust the text box so it's not too big. And to add a photo, you hit the little blue empty face box. And you just can drag your photo around, your photo box around. And you make it how big or small you want it. And to upload an image, you're going to go back to the right-hand side. And you're going to click the images. Um, so once you click the images... Then you're going to go under the little drop box and you're going to find your club or whatever it is. So you'll scroll through here and you'll see all the different types of pictures and subcategories you have. So you have like all the sports and then you're going to go to clubs, an art club, and there's your photo. So you just click it and you drag it over to the text box and once it's green you can drop it in. And then you can adjust the size of your photo by pulling the different boxes and things. And then you are going to have a group photo for each club. So those will be sent to you by whoever's taking the yearbook photo that year. Um, and those will be under the clubs and organizations folder. Um, so you're also going to want to put a title with each of your clubs. So you're just going to add another text box. And you're going to right click and select all and delete everything in the box. And you're going to go back and change your font size so that it matches your decided font size that you guys have created. Um, and we're just going to name this one Art Club. And you'll see me put in another box, like a couple other boxes, to create a nice layout for the club page. 
and you'll just have a bunch of different box sizes you want to have that so that it doesn't look so like neat and formal that it looks very it looks fun but organized also when you put text boxes and photo boxes you want to make sure that there is a half a box space between each one so there is some white space in the photo you do not want your pictures to connect with each other because when you post them and when it gets printed it'll start to look very like messy so you always just want that little bit of white space and 